They're the ultimate boy band and Irish crooners Westlife are coming back home with their ninth studio album. Their first release, Home, was originally performed by the king of crooners, Michael Bublé, but musical mentor Simon Cowell urged the boys to try it. Listen to Simon, he's, he's been right 15 times or 14 times now uh, when it comes to number ones and stuff, so, you know, we took his advice and it's obviously right, he's right again. The lads have sold over 36 million albums in nine years, so no wonder they're not too perplexed about going head to head with the Spice Girls for that lucrative number one spot. It's not a like good battle. Really. So, yeah, yeah, obviously for ego, you yeah, obviously would rather be number one, of course, but if Boys you're number two, you'll probably either. still sell 50 or 100,000 albums more that week because of it. And so, whatever, but best of luck to them. And how do the good looking Irishmen cope with the paparazzi? The paparazzi, you know, are not really existing too much in Ireland, unless it's a massive story, unless it's, you know, unless it's like a big talking point at the time. I mean, like Marcus Gare, Brian's leaving.